billionaire Richard Branson joined Cotter's royal family at the opening of the country's new research center. Branson came to Cotter to open Virgin Health Bank, the first in the region that collects stem cells from the umbilical cord of newborns. Qatar's a, a thrusting, exciting country. Uh, it's got leaders that have got great vision. The sprawling new science center is part of the leader's ambitious plans to make the small Gulf state the center for medical research and innovation. Virgin's plan is to store umbilical cord stem cells after a mother has given birth. A portion of those stem cells will be banked for that infant's future use in the event of medical need. The remainder will be stored at a national public center for research and used by patients with a matching tissue type. Core blood stem cells are used to treat leukemia as well as other blood-related illnesses. Though Virgin is only storing umbilical cord stem cells, Cotter's scientists are open to working with the more controversial embryonic stem cells. Pro-life groups oppose the creation of embryonic stem lines because they require the destruction of a human embryo. Stem cells are the building blocks of life and highly prized for their ability to change into the cells of other tissues. The hope is that stem cell technology might someday be used to regenerate diseased, damaged or missing tissues and organs. Lori Zoloth is an expert in bioethics. She says the use of embryonic stem cells is controversial in the United States because of its large conservative Christian population. Their position is that stem cell research on human embryonic stem cells is always illicit. It cannot be done because it involves the destruction of a human embryo. And a human embryo is a full person from the moment of conception. But Dr. Hanan al Kuari, the managing director of Hamid Medical Corporation, a healthcare provider in Qatar, says the moral status of the embryo has a different meaning for Muslims. She says under Islamic belief, a human embryo is not considered a human being until after 40 days from fertilization. Islam is a very modern um, uh, religion and it really embraces science and it doesn't have some of the controversial issues that are in the West around stem cell research. But Tim Caulfield, a health law advisor for Canada, says a consensus on stem cell research is unlikely. Having a global policy on stem cell research I think is going to be a real challenge. Uh, even though we've seen things like Obama's announcement, even though we've seen exciting stem cell breakthroughs that seem to deal with some of the ethical issues, I, th I still think there's great moral divide. Richard Branson says he believes there is a lot of hope with stem cells and sees Cotter as the centre of stem cells for the region. You know, th this cord blood bank could actually end up being quite larger than the UK's cord blood bank quite quickly, I think. We present you with this crucible as a symbol of the renaissance of science in Qatar. Millions of dollars have gone into the technology park and well-known institutes such as Cornell University's biomedical research program have opened in Doha. That, say Cotteries, bodes well for their goal to become a magnet for top medical research. Mandy Clark, VOA News, Doha.